let's work on the concept of regression line in this video and we'll do so using mostly intuition and this graph so I plotted here a relationship between wage and education for individuals and we have here these blue dots which show actual observations and this green line this green line is a is a fit to the data so what would be the best estimate of this data so that we are able to predict wages based on the level of education now I also made these notes here with the purple that for instance for a level of education of 12 years we have these different blue dots these different possible results so we could have either two thousand dollars a month two and a half thousand dollars a month and three thousand dollars a month so why would we have these differences and that's the whole thing I'm trying to prove that in a regression we're just estimating the wage but we're never actually calculating it exactly because there's something missing in the line and the things that are missing in the line these differences that cause this these differences that cause to have this unexplained unexplained variation well that's the, literally the unexplained terms in the regression line so the population regression line if we take into account literally every person on this planet and plot the relationship between his education and his wage we are going to include something else besides education we are going to have a constant so we're going to we're, we're going to have a constant term plus the coefficient the effect of education on wage but we're also going to have unexplained factors that belong to the individual which affects the wage but we do not know and let's be a bit more practical here and give some examples for our case in our case that could be the background of the individual and the talent of the individual for instance so the the guy earning 2k a month might be less talented than the guy earning 2.5k a month so we have people with more talent with a better background that earn more money for the same level of education so that's going to be the specific factors of that of that person specific factors and that's what we take into account with this error term now of course we don't have access to all the variables that affect wage that's why we just include them in this error term we take into account that we have it and using statistics using data we just plot a relationship with what we know and we know the level of education and we know the data that we have we know the wage we know the actual relationship and we're trying to estimate as well as we can now what is what is the actual beta so what what does beta show us this is a simple line and recall from math that the line is showing us the following relationship a line if we write it in the general way y equals to a coefficient sorry y is equal to an intercept a plus a coefficient times x if we consider this is our y axis this is our x axis the beta is showing us the slope is showing us this coefficient and the alpha is showing us the intercept so it's the same analogy meaning that the beta coefficient from here is showing us the change in y relative to the change in x that's what the slope is showing us change in y relative to the change in x as we said if we consider the y axis our wage that's going to be the change in wage relative to the change in education so beta is showing the effect of education on wage beta is showing the effect of education of education on wage now let's leave it like that in this video because I didn't want to get into the math here and in the next video we're going to discuss some properties of this coefficient